Welcome to Cita Tech. Let's take a look at your fingerprint sensor setup on your Note 5. Now if you happen to skip this during the initial setup of your device, you can always come back in later on and add in some fingerprints. The way that you do this is come into your settings. We're going to swipe over to our actual personal tab, then tap on lock screen and security. So notice up at the top of the screen, my screen lock type is fingerprints, and I have fingerprints down below in security. Now screen lock is just the way that your device locks. I'll have to put in my fingerprint to actually access and change this, but I can either choose a swipe, pattern, pin, password, or fingerprints. I've chosen fingerprints because I have fingerprints on my device. So now we come back into lock screen security. We'll come down to security and tap on fingerprints. Go ahead and verify with the fingerprint you've added, or if you haven't added one, you won't have to verify. You'll just be brought into the menu. But notice I have manage fingerprints now. I have fingerprint one, which is in there. I can tap on it and actually rename it. This is my right thumb, so I'll just go and call it right thumb. I'll tap rename, and now it's my right thumb has been renamed. So now if I place my right thumb on the home button, notice it kind of highlights it in blue bold font, letting me know that it's registering that my thumbprint is there. Now I can add a fingerprint by tapping add fingerprint. I'm gonna want to place my finger that I want to be scanned in on the home key, lift it off and then repeat it. I want to move it upwards and downwards slightly between each attempt to get most of my fingertips scanned as possible. So I'm going to use my right index finger, but you can use whatever finger you want to or thumb. Go ahead and place it on the home button and notice as I put it there, it scans it in and gives me a percentage of how far I've come along. So I'm a little more than halfway done, and with each variance, I'm kind of moving my finger up and down on the home button to try and register as much of my finger as possible. This is gonna help me make sure that I'm capturing all that and making the fingerprint scan as accurate as possible. So now that it's done, I have success, and if I put my right index finger on the home button, my fingerprint two actually now highlights, and I can tap on fingerprint two and rename it I'll go right index and then tap rename. So now I have my right thumb and my right index available for me to use. And down below I have web sign in so I can use my fingerprint to sign into websites. It'll store my username and passwords. And then if I have a Samsung account, I can turn this on and it'll verify my Samsung account. And if I don't have one from this page, I can go ahead and create an account or sign in with the one that I already have. Now on the lock screen security, if I go ahead and unlock my device, I have it set up for fingerprints as you saw earlier. So if I try and unlock my device, notice the backup password is actually asking me for a backup password. That's something I did when I first set up my first fingerprint. I had to give it a password. And now I can use my fingerprint to go ahead and scan. And so now I've unlocked my device without even having to enter in any sort of password. Now something to keep in mind that it was an oversight in the first time I set up my actual lock screen security with fingerprints was the duration of the lock. Come into secure lock settings, I'm going to tap there, and I'm going to tap on secured lock time. I have it set to actually instantly lock with the power key when I actually do this. So if I lock my device, it's immediately locked and it's going to immediately ask me for my password or fingerprint. Now it was originally set to 10 minutes. Watch what happens with 10 minutes. If I lock my device now, I can go ahead and swipe and unlock the screen. I think that if I'm using a fingerprint, I want my device to be as secure as possible. And I'm not gonna wanna leave my device unlocked for 10 minutes after I lock my device. So this is me setting my phone on my desk, locking it, and 10 minutes later, I'm gonna be asked for my fingerprint. Now within that 10 minutes, anybody could come up to my device and unlock it and use it. So I always like to come in here and secure in lock time and put instantly with the power key or when the screen times out. So that way when I instantly lock my device, I'm trying to come in here, notice I can no longer swipe, and I have to either enter in my backup password or I can use my thumbprint or fingerprint to actually get into my device. So now that I've done that, now I'm back into my device. So that is how you set up fingerprint sensor for the actual fingerprints for web sign in Samsung accounts. It'll eventually come to Samsung Pay when that is enabled here later on this year. And then I can use it to actually use the lock screen of my device. For more Samsung Galaxy Note 5 tips, be sure and visit sativetech.com.
www.thepowerhouse.net.